Okay, what a day for a daydreaming boy. So first up on the list is 24-year-old San Jose Sharks defenseman Mario Ferraro. He already has three assists and 10 blocks in four games. Scoring output's not going to continue. I'll tell you that right now. Um, but he should put up well over 150 hits and blocks this season. He had 140 hits and 151 blocks in 63 games last season while averaging 23 minutes of ice time. I had him on my fantasy team last season. He was one of my most consistent scorers. He's not going to be flashy. If he puts up 20 assists, that'll be a career year for him. He's not going to get you a lot of goals, a lot of assists, but he should get you a lot of blocks and a lot of hits to make up for that. And again, he's he's consistent because at least he'll put up maybe a couple of blocks, a couple of hits, um, even if he doesn't put up the scoring numbers. So he is fairly consistent. At least he'll give you something each and every game. Um, he is available in 82% of ESPN leagues, so it would be surprising if he's not on your waiver wire, so give him a look. Uh, speaking of blocks, 22-year-old Islanders defenseman Alexander Romanov. He has 14 in just two games, talking about blocks. He played with Canadians in his first two seasons. He had 144 blocks and 227 hits last season, while averaging over 20 minutes of ice time. Like Ferraro, don't expect a ton of uh, offense, at least not yet. Uh, he has he did just have 13 points in 79 games. He does have offensive upside, though. Um, he displayed it at the World Juniors. So the question is, will he improve those offensive numbers with the Islanders? Obviously, that remains to be seen. But if he does, he could be a home run. If not, he's still going to most likely rack up a ton of hits and blocks for you. And uh, he's available in 53% of ESPN leagues. 26-year-old Columbus Blue Jackets defenseman Vladislav Gavrikov. Say that name three times fast. He had a career-high 28 assists, 33 points, 138 blocks, and 124 hits in 80 games last season, while averaging over 22 minutes of ice time. I will mention that I am obviously somewhat biased because uh, I've been following the Blue Jackets for a number of years. Um, and he has been held scoreless through three games this season. He has four blocks, a couple of hits, um, but they've also played Tampa Bay, Carolina, and St. Louis. So there's that as well. I do think those num numbers will obviously improve, but we'll see what happens. Again, I am a little biased on this pick. Uh, he's available in 38% of ESPN leagues. Lastly, 24-year-old Boston Bruins defenseman Charlie McAvoy had a career year last season. 56 points, 10 goals, 78 games with 21 power play points, including 17 assists on said power play, while averaging over 24 and a half minutes of ice time. He ranked in the top 20 among defensemen in points, assists, plus minus, average ice time, and power play assists last season. But there is a catch. Um, he's going to be out for at least probably for the first two months of the season as he underwent shoulder surgery in the off season. Um, but that doesn't mean you should at least, shouldn't at least, uh, you know, consider taking a look at him, especially if you have an open injured reserve slot, because when he does come back, if he's healthy, he should be one of the better defensemen in the league. So, and he's available in just over 30% of ESPN. Like, so, I would at least, if he is on your waiver wire, I'd strongly can, you know, urge you to take a shot. I did. I found him on my waiver wire, um, and I picked him up, and I have Brad Marchand on, on my IR uh, already. So he's just chilling on my bench for the first two months of the season. Hopefully it'll be worth it, you know. Um, so anyway, so that wraps it up for me. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.